Hello students this is remote learning initiative undertaken by Shet Vidya Mandir English High School CBSC myself Pritam De Silva your SST teacher and today we are going to deal with standard 7th geography chapter 5 water part 3 tides students the rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is known as a tide tides may be high or low it is high tide when water covers much of the shore by rising to its highest level it is low tide when water falls to its lowest level and recedes from the shore tides are caused due to the strong gravitational pull exerted by the sun and moon on the earth's surface the water of the earth closer to the moon gets pulled under the influence of the moon's gravitational force and causes high tide during the full moon and new moon days the sun the moon and the earth are in the same line and the tides are highest these tides are called spring tides but when the moon in its first and last quarter the ocean waters get drawn in diagonally opposite direction by the gravitational pull of sun and moon resulting in low tides these tides are called neap tides students high tides are important for various reasons they help in navigation the raise the water level close to the shores this helps the ship to arrive at the harbor more easily the high tides also help in fishing many more fish come closer to the shore during the high tide this enables the fishermen to get plentiful catch the rise and fall of water due to tides is being used to generate electricity in some places ocean currents students ocean currents are streams of water flowing constantly on the ocean surface in definite directions the ocean currents may be warm or cold the warm ocean currents originate near the equator and move towards the poles the cold current carry water from polar or higher latitudes to tropical or lower latitudes for example the labrador ocean current is cold current while the gulf stream is a warm current the ocean current influences the temperature conditions of the area Warm currents bring about warm temperature over land surface. The areas where the warm and cold currents meet provide the best fishing grounds of the world. For example, seas around Japan and the eastern coast of North America. The areas where a warm and cold current meet also experience foggy weather and therefore navigation becomes difficult